We're just trying to get to the bottom of it. This isn't something that you normally find on the beach. A sandy crater five feet wide and more than two feet deep with a partially buried black rock at the bottom. A discovery that made Jean Mushanik and her sister immediately wonder if it came from out of this world. We stood there and we're like, what? Like, is, could this be a meteorite? This is crazy. The mysterious find made Friday in the Silver Beach section of Tom's River got lots of attention after the sisters shared it on social media. These smaller rocks were near the crater. It also has a burnt smell to it. Just two days earlier, this fireball in the sky was seen by people all along the East Coast. I don't think there's a link. It's hard to say, but I'm pretty sure that it's not a meteorite. I showed these images to Stockton University physics professor Joe Trout. He says the big rock appears to be missing some characteristics that meteorites typically have, including thumb-like impressions. Trout believes a meteorite of this size would also be much heavier. The fact that the um, person is holding it so easily makes me think that there's, it's just not dense enough to be a meteorite. Trout also consulted a geologist who feels the rock is actually a chunk of coal smoothed out by erosion from the ocean. I don't know what formed the fair crater, but I'm pretty sure that it's just not the right shape and size for a meteorite that's that size. It definitely looks like it blasted the sand. Mushanik also reached out to Philadelphia's Franklin Institute in her quest for answers. The Science Museum's chief astronomer says he needs to rule out all of the terrestrial possibilities before leaping to the extraterrestrial. Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.